We're going to start getting some NASCAR drivers here showing up. The reason they are here is because of the gentleman by my side right here. This is Daryl Gwynn. This is his charity, the Hot Rods and Reels Fishing Tournament. And Daryl, you used to be a racer yourself, but I don't know. I mean, the NASCAR guys, it's cool that they're going 200 miles an hour and all, but you were, what, 300 miles an hour in your car? Yeah, but you know, it's all about competition. And, yeah. <laughs> uh, and these guys are very competitive, and they're also very supportive of my charity. And uh, we're going to have a great day out here on Lake Lloyd this morning with Hot Rods and reels. We've got a gr lot of great drivers signed up, and uh, it's a great opportunity for fans uh, to participate one-on-one -on -one with the drivers. And that's what's cool, because whether you're a racing fan or, or not, if, if you want to find what are the things that make the event of the Daytona 500 unique, you can come ch fishing for charity, raise money for charity, and today we're raising money for a young man from a Longwood, just down the road of our studios at Fox 35, to get a wheelchair. I mean, this is amazing, and this is all within your charity, right? That's right. That's what we do with the money is part of what you're seeing today is our quality of life program. Um, we also have prevention and education awareness centered around paralysis, but the quality of life program this morning is about giving this young kid this wheelchair and him being able to live his life with this new chair. And we're going to present it here on the dock today yeah. in front of all the drivers, so it's going to be a real cool morning. This is going to be wonderful, and I know you've done this for the last couple years, so it's great to actually get to bring our morning show for the first time and spend some time with you, but after we talk about the events and all that, I always love knowing, because I know this is not your first time time, what are some of the things you like about, first, the race, the Daytona 500 and the event that is this weekend, what are some of your favorite things about this? Well, it is the Daytona 500. It's one of the most historical events in, in, in history, and uh, you just get some a feel of, of a certain energy when you enter this place, the the history, and uh, it's going to be a great race, and it's always been a great race, yeah. um, and we've got a lot of those great drivers signed up here this morning, yeah. and as much as they cheat in our fishing tournament, <laughs> I can't imagine can't. how much they cheat out on the track. Hey, right? Yeah, that's funny. I love it from the man himself. Now, also, I want to know, aside from the track, what are some of your favorite things to do when you're in Daytona? Do you go to the beach? Do you eat at some of the restaurants? Like, what are the things you like about Central Florida? When I'm in Daytona, I love camping in the infield here at Daytona International Speedway yeah. and uh, being a part of all the uh, the festivities here at Daytona. Well, we appreciate you letting us come in and see what you guys do here. And, of course, we'll be talking with some of the drivers coming up. We'll be getting video. The bass boats are going in the water as we speak, Amy and Mike. And once we get to 7 o'clock here in a few minutes, the next two hours to follow, just hold on tight because while it is a big lake, we are set up to actually <laughs> shoot cameras. We might even send Tom out in a boat and see if uh, we can find out, you know, maybe call Tony Stewart or see Ryan Newman to and say, so are you catching anything? Yeah, <laughs> yeah see if he can swim. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. If you got time, you may want to hang around this morning or set your DVR. This is going to be a great morning. All right, we're looking forward to it. We're Jim. holding on, Jim. <laughs> Tight. All right, we've got right now your coverage of the fun at Daytona 500. Tom Johnson is also, he is live in Daytona Beach this morning. And Tom, I understand uh, things are just getting more and more crazy out there. All kinds of people waking up and headed to the fan zone. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're, they're heading to the fans and a lot of people right here on Lake Lloyd getting ready for the fishing tournament, including defending champion Jamie McMurray, who is is taking a couple of seconds away from the fishing tournament to talk to us. I know you're anxious to, to get out there fishing. This must be nice to be able to put business aside for a few minutes and, and help a charity like this and get a little fishing in. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I know you got panicked because we were trying to, to take off before we did the interview, but Clint Boyer's won like the last four of these. Right. And so someone has to, has to beat him. And uh, it's amazing how competitive all of us are and, and, and want to win at everything. So, yeah, so we're hoping to get out and, and catch some fish today. Now, when you're here, one of the things we've been talking about all week, because it's so unique and great about NASCAR, is how fan-friendly it is and how close you guys get to the fan. What's it like from your side to be on that equation? Well, I don't. I think for most of us, we don't really know any different. You know, I mean, our sport's always been about uh, being around the fans and, and signing autographs and the fans having a lot of access to us. So it just seems normal. Um, I, you know, I, I haven't been to a lot of other forms of racing before but this is just uh, kind of what is normal to me so it uh, it is a, a it's amazing sport though I've, I've been to some football games and you see the tailgating and uh, to me coming to a NASCAR race is kind of the ultimate way because you get to have three or four days or in in the case of Daytona you can be here for two weeks you know and, and have a huge tailgate party yeah it, it the social aspect of it mm -hmm. is almost as big as watching the race yeah it's uh, it's always interesting to me to to listen to fans when they get interviewed that they they have friends that they don't know away from NASCAR that they meet at the same race they camp at the the same side every year and just uh, just a wonderful event. All right, so prediction on
Well, the weather's warmer today, so hopefully the fish will bite. Uh, last year it was raining and cold, so we didn't catch a lot of fish, but uh, got good weather today. And uh, hopefully, since I'm sponsored by Bass Pro Shops, that uh, it might be set up a little bit where I get to win this year. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. All right, Jamie and, and Captain Russ are about to throw me in the water off the boat, so I'm going to send it back to you guys because I don't want anybody seeing that. <laughs> I know, you got heavy clothes on, too. That would not be good. All right, Tom. Be careful I know. out there, buddy. I don't float. You need those little, like, what do they call those? Bye. Water wings? That's what you need. All right, see you, Tom. And don't forget, all the Daytona 500 action is right here on Fox 35. Be sure to join Fox 35 live at the track to kick off our very special coverage on Sunday. Kel Raymaker and I will be joining you live at 11 a.m., and then the race starts at 1.30. Mike? I want to. Th this is a whole reason we've been over here. You know, a lot of times we spend time in the victory lane. We spend time over in the garages, time in the fan zone. And this morning, you know, we've been on Lake Lloyd all morning. Still got Greg Biffle fishing right behind it. Greg, how's it going? Are you doing any luck? <laughs> He's doing all right. But I want you to meet the family. The reason we're here. This is Kyle Derrick. And Kyle just got this wheelchair today because of drivers like Greg Biffle and Ryan Newman out there. He's an 11 year old boy from Longwood. Florida and I want you Eric if you can pan right here and show take a look he's got a wheelchair in the magic colors and with the logo and Kyle I just got to ask you you'll love this Talitha Heidi and Mike you're gonna love this he said can I ask you a question what did you want to say on air hi 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 and I miss you bye he's saying hi to his girlfriend back home is that not a smart boy or what yeah. I love it. Oh I love my it. goodness. <laughs> That's the way to, he didn't want to say anything to anybody else other than to his girlfriend. So I hope she's watching. Peter, want to talk to you as well. This is sure. Dad from Longwood, Florida, just down the road from our studios at Fox 35. What does this mean to you to see 20 NASCAR Sprint Cup drivers come out and raise money to try to make things like this happen for just a wonderful Central Florida family? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It really is. I mean, for Kyle to be awarded this wheelchair and for it to, to present him a level of independence that he's never realized before, we can't be so, we're just so grateful about it. And I asked you if you had heard about the game yet, and you said you hadn't, is that true? That's correct. Okay, well, here's the deal. We're talking with the folks with Ryan and Hot Rods and Reels, and we, they were trying to get in touch with the Magic, but it's All-Star Weekend. So Dwight Howard and everybody's gone while everybody's racing, but Fox 35 happens to know a few folks at the Magic, and we wanted to tell you the Magic did come through. They're sorry they couldn't be here today, but they're sending you to the Chicago Bulls game April 10th, all right? So you and your family are going to go see them play with the Chicago Bulls on April 10th. So you're going to cheer for Dwight Howard? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. He's got, he's got a stuffed doll with him, and this is going to be great stuff. We'll get all the stuff squared away after we get off TV and all that, but I just I love it. Thank you to the Magic for coming through for them, and Aww. again, they, they're very, very sorry they couldn't be here today, but everybody's doing All-Star Weekend. That's the only reason that they're not here with you right now. That's terrific. Absolutely terrific. You guys got me out of the hot seat. I'm mean, looking <laughs> for him for uh, well, we got you covered, all right? So, Kyle, it is a pleasure to meet you. And, again, this is why everybody's here today is for families just like this. This is why Daryl Gwynn does what he does. This is good stuff. This it's, is why NASCAR is such a great sport. You don't see this with other sports. They really reach out to the everyday is, person. So, I love it. We'll be back here with another wrap of your forecast here before our good day's done. And then I'm going fishing. Greg's all right, you do that, so Jim. fun. <laughs> well, congratulations to Kyle and the shout-out to his girlfriend. That's so awesome. Well, all of the Daytona 500 action is right here on Fox 35. Join us for our special at the track. We'll kick it off Sunday at 11 a.m. And the race, don't forget, it starts at 1.30 p.m. Lots of fun. Okay, Daytona 500, not just speed demons looking for a win. No, many of the drivers are really do-gooders. Yes, and we saw that today. In we fact, did. they hit the water and helped a little boy finally get the wheelchair that he needs. Fox 35's Tom Johnson reports. The Hot Rods and Reels Fishing Tournament is a star-studded angling event on the Speedway's Lake Lloyd. NASCAR stars like David Reagan, <laughs> Ryan Newman, and defending Daytona 500 champion Jamie McMurray. This event battling to see who can boat. Let's go, let's go! Oh, my God. The biggest lunker of a largemouth bass. A giant trophy on the line, plus the chance to win a million dollars. But this tournament is really about more than fishing and prizes. Oh. 
It's about 11-year-old Longwood boy Kyle Derrick who has cerebral palsy and tournament sponsor, former drag racer, Daryl Gwynn. Gwynn's foundation donated Kyle the new wheelchair he really needed. we like to thank Sir Daryl Gwynn for this chair. There's nothing like brings a smile to your face like winning a race, I thought. And uh, it's that moment that we, when we give that chair away to a young man for him to start his life is a bigger smile than ever. Then during Good Day, Fox 35 helped turn one of Kyle's dreams into a magical moment. The magic did come through. They're sorry they couldn't be here today, but they're sending you to the Chicago Bulls game April 10th, all right? So you and your family are going to go see them play with the Chicago Bulls on April 10th. So you're going to cheer for Dwight Howard? Yeah. We've been trying to get tickets, and we couldn't. And and that's that's what he's been wanting. That's all he wanted for his birthday. So it's very exciting. Very exciting. I've been um, wanting to get a wheelchair, and I've been wanting to go to a magic game so badly. And now, thanks to a lot of caring people here this day, that stuff. <laughs> he has both. Tom Johnson, Fox 35 News. Wow, what a special little guy. The need for speed, by the way, all right here on Fox 35. Join us live for the Daytona International Speedway for our special at the track.